G'day, I'm Sean, and these are the new ARRI Pro Camera Accessories for the Canon EOS C400. So these new components for the Canon C400, well, they follow along in the same kind of design thinking that we employ throughout all ARRI PCA products. They're a great blend of stability, compatibility with other industry standard tools, and lightweight design. If you're familiar with the newer PCA that we have for the Sony Burano, well then you'll notice a few of the innovations we introduced on those accessories here as well. So for starters, up the top, we have a two-piece top plate, which will allow you to use either the Canon top handle or to choose an ARRI top handle like this CCH4, which of course works really well with the ARRI hex handle extensions. On the bottom, we have a small and lightweight base plate, which has integrated 15mm lightweight rod clamps and also supports the ARRI PCA quick release system, which means that you can throw in a bunch of different plates without tools. So you can have very small plates for gimbals and also for bridge plates. We have dedicated stabilizer plates and we have dedicated shoulder pads and more on that in just a minute. The side brackets will be very familiar if you've seen the ARRI PCA4 Burano because they're our new standard which incorporates a NATO rail directly into the side bracket. So we have one on the left up here and we have two on the right. So we have a front and rear side bracket which works with all of our new NRCs. They're the NATO rail clamps that we introduced a couple of months ago and there's a dedicated tech talk for those up here somewhere. The other thing we have to talk about is that we offer a bunch of different options for running Canon's viewfinder system. And we'll get to that in just a second. Let's go over to our light box. All right, let's get into some detail. So we have a two part top plate and that's these two parts here. Now they can be used independently on the top of the C400 and together, of course. So I'm gonna start with the outer section, which is kind of this U shape here. And that will bolt to four holes in the top of the C400. And you'll notice as well that these screws, of course, are the standard ARRI multi-hex screw, which means that you can use it with a 3mm, a 4mm, a 5mm, or a 5.32nd of an inch Allen key that will all fit into the screw hole in those screws, which is cool. From here, this is the kind of setup you would have if you wanted to use the existing C400 top handle. So to do that, I'm just going to slide off this little hot shoe cover here. And then the whole handle system will kind of slide in. And then there are these three thumb screws, which you can use to tighten down the top handle. So from here, this kind of outer section of our top plate would give you a whole heap of 3 8 inch holes with our pin lock uh, anti-twist little pin holes, as well as the new quarter inch pin lock standard. And we have double M4 hole pattern here as well, which means that you could run an RMB3 rod mounting bracket, for example, on there if you wanted to. To use the full top plate, I, of course, will be taking this off, sliding it back, it's unscrewed, yep. Okay, and then we have this other section which slots into the middle. So there are three screws here. When you're putting this together, it's easier if you put the outer section on first because you'll basically see how the center section sits over the top of the outer section. And then three screw holes like so. So now we have this really kind of flat, big area for rigging, which might be great if you're using this as a crash cam or something with a magic arm or whatever you like. Great for steady cam low mode, etc. Heaps of 3 8 inch and quarter inch holes on the top here. From this point, I can show you that we also support the existing lightweight 15 millimeter console, which again has been around for a really long time with PCA components. So if you wanted to run a pair of optically centered 15 mil rails on your C400 from the top, you could put this right here and screw it in from the front. And it will also attach to the back where we have a whole bunch more accessory mounting holes here as well. Before we get to the ARRI top handle, I'm just going to show you the base plate because it'll be easier for me to mount it like this. So this is the base plate. So as you can see, there's a whole heap of air in this base plate. It's super strong, but also quite lightweight. Now this will attach to the bottom of the camera with four screws and we flip it over. You'll see where the holes all kind of line up uh, like so. There's only one way that it will actually fit into the camera. And then we have 
four screws. So do them all up a little bit before going back and tightening them up is always the best approach. We have little rubber washers in there so that the screws can't fall out. They are captive. Now this base plate, obviously it supports lightweight 15 mil rods. You can see the holes here and they pass all the way through. So if you have a long pair of rods that you're adjusting for a different length uh, prime or zoom, then you can pass them all the way through. And we have individual rod clamps so that you can just run a single rod if you like. On the top here, which is the bottom, you'll see that there is this lever and a dovetail release mechanism. Now that is for the existing quick release system we've had with PCA for a while, and you're gonna be using it with one of three plates. So this guy is the BPA5 bridge plate adapter. And yes, you can use it to adapt to a bridge plate, which we'll get to, but also it's just a nice little plate for having a very slim base plate on the C400. So you could mount your snap plate for your tripod onto here, or maybe go straight into a gimbal and then be able to adjust balance because we have a locking lever on this side, which allows you to slide the plate backwards and forwards. There's a little safety release tab, which means that you can pull the plate off from the front or the back of the camera. And this has the correct hole pattern here um, for a bridge plate. So this would be our standard BP-8 bridge plate for 19mm studio rail support. And you can see that I can line these little uh, locating pins up and then screw in the screw, uh, two screws here from the bottom. And now I basically have the base plate for the pro set that the C400 accessories come in and that will slide in and I have my correctly spaced 19mm studio rods if I'm running a big zoom on this, for example, or just lens motors, because we really recommend using 19mm for lens motors. Now I'm gonna take this off again and show you the other two plates so we have this. Now this is the SAM4. That's the stabilizer adapter mount. So this is designed primarily for the Trinity and Trinity 2 and the Artemis 2 and for any of our stabilized remote heads. So that will slide in just like this. And now you have a very adjustable base plate. The other nice thing is because this has center lined uh, quarter and three eighth inch holes, you could also use this as an adapter plate to go to a Steadicam plate, for example. So two little safety uh, release levers at the front and the back, and that is the SAM4. And our last option is the BSA1, that is the broadcast shoulder adapter. It's also a PCA component that has been around for a long time. We have an integrated shoulder pad here and a VCT system, which will work with any standard VCT plate as well as the ARRI QRP1. So that would slide in like this. And then I have a large amount of balance here, which is good for getting the perfect balance on your shoulder, depending on how heavy your lens is, of course. And then we have a lock on this side. And then it would snap directly into the ARRI QRP1, for example, just like so. Let's talk top handles. So I've already showed you how to use the existing C400 top handle, but if you get one of the Pro sets, then you'll get the ARRI CCH4 center camera handle as well. Now this guy's also been around for a little while. It's a closed D shape, which means that it's very secure in your hand or if you're using an easy rig with the older clamp. And it has a nice little adjustable sliding mechanism. So if we sit it on the top here, you can use any of the 3 8 mounting holes um, on the C400 top plate. And if I partially screw these in, you can see that I have quite a decent amount of uh, adjustment here. Again, can be nice to get the right balance in your hand. And then I can tighten that up. Of course, this is exactly the same um, uh, profile as the handle extensions that we also sell. And there's no sharp edges under here, unlike some older handles, which means that it's much more comfortable. At the front, we're gonna attach a viewfinder with the RMB3. So this would also come with the Pro Set and we screw the RMB3 into the front of the CCH4. And then I'm gonna do this so that I can use the existing Canon viewfinder mounting system, which is their like hinged articulated system. So once I have the rod mounting bracket attached, I need to insert a 15 mil reduction insert and then a single 15 millimeter rod. And when that's in there, I can lock it off. And then if you jump over to the C400 top handle, I'm just going to unscrew this and then I can slide on 
the whole mounting mechanism from Canon, like so. So now I can still use the hinged system here. You'll notice <coughs> that this rod and this rod are very similar, but actually they're slightly different sizes. So we need to make sure that you use a standard 15 millimeter rod instead of Canon's one for it to work with kind of standard rod clamps like the RMB3. Now, we know that a lot of people much prefer to use the ARRI viewfinder mounting system. So we offer lots of adapters already for third-party EVFs into that system. And we have one for the C400 as well. And we have several options for that. And the first one is this. Here we have the viewfinder cross pipe, which is a 19 mil rod connected to a nice little viewfinder bracket here, which has a quick release system in it. Now this system was introduced back with the Alexa Classic, so it will be very familiar for anyone who's used an Alexa before. In order to, and in order to make use of this system, we need to adapt the Canon monitor to the ARRI viewfinder mounting system. So I have the monitor here and we need to take it off this bracket. So in order to do that, you'll see that there is a screw in here. Now this is a 3 16th hex key. So bear in mind, you need a set of Imperial Allen keys for that one. And we can place that over here. So now we have a single quarter inch screw here and two little tiny anti-twist pin little lugs on the edge of the monitor. That will interface perfectly with this guy, which is the Canon uh, monitor bracket for C200, which so we introduced this quite a while ago, but it's also available for use with the C300 Mark III and C500 Mark II as well. That will work in either orientation. So you can run it like this or like this. I'm gonna do it in the first way. There's a little slot here so that the screw can side, slide side to side, um, which would then help it align properly and nicely when you're using it in either orientation. Just line up the anti-twist pins with the little holes in our bracket and then lock it off. And now if the bracket is unlocked, I can drop this straight in here. So I have a friction adjustment to adjust the angle of the monitor. And of course, this amount of adjustment here as well. We have another option and that would be to basically use exactly the same system that you would have on an Alexa Mini. So here we have the full MVB1 Mini Viewfinder Bracket 1. Of course, the same system for the Canon screen, but now we have a pair of 15 millimeter rods uh, at the front here, which means I can slide this fore and aft. And that's thanks to that little uh, Lightweight 15 console that I mentioned before. And then when you have locked that off, then we have a similar amount, uh, amount of adjustment here, side to side, up and down and around and all the good stuff. Now there is one more option for those people who like really cool viewfinder brackets. We have the VMB5. Now this was debuted with the Alexa 35 and we have one little friction adjustment here and then I have all this range of motion capable and it will just stay wherever, wherever I leave it. You almost have like a viewfinder extension bracket built in to the monitor bracket, so that is very cool. Now that's attached at the top here with the square accessory sleeve SAS2, which just bolts directly into the front of the CCH4. And then you still have a 3 8 inch hole here for accessories, like for running a focus bug, for example. Okie dokie, let's have a look at the side brackets. So here I've gone back to the standard viewfinder mounting mechanism that we would offer if you just buy the Pro Set without any of the other special parts. And it's time to talk about side brackets, which believe it or not, mount to the side of the camera. So they screw into the top and to the bottom plate. So I can start this up here and line everything up. And then we might speed this section up a little bit. Okay, so now that is mounted and you can see that there is a built-in NATO rail in the side bracket, which is kind of cool. And that means that it'll work with all of our NATO rail clamps and of course others that you might already own. So this would be the NRC5 and it can be used as a little quick release for mounting other accessories right there. And if you'd prefer to have a rosette on your side bracket for mounting hand grips, well, we had to take the rosette off the, hang, off the uh, side bracket in order to get the NATO rail system to work. But we offer these guys, which are called RA6 
rosette adapter number six, and it screws in with two screws into the side bracket. One is a 3 8 with anti-twist pins, and one is a quarter inch that all lines up properly and just means that you'll have absolutely no rotation or looseness there, which of course is probably the last thing that you'd want for a hand grip. So that is now super solid and any of our Ari standard rosette hand grips will mount there. On the camera right side, I've already mounted these two side brackets. So we have the front one and the rear one and two new NATO rail clamps. So these were the same ones introduced with the Burano. So we have the NRC1 at the front, that's the rod mounting clamp here. It's particularly useful for running a single 19 millimeter rod, which you can then use for lens motors. And then at the back here, we have the NRC2. That's a universal bracket design for video transmitters. And personally, this is where I really like to run my uh, video transmitter here. It's nice out of the way and next to the BNC connectors for the SDI outs. So that of course is all quick release as well. And just take note that it's not like some other NATO rails. We actually have access to the safety release pin from the side or the top of the side bracket here too, which makes it much easier to release. And you can take it off top and bottom as well. Now we have two other things to touch on. The first is sets, and then we'll get to ECS compatibility in just a minute. So you want to purchase a PCA set for your Canon C400. Well, we have four sets available. This is the basic Cine set. So you get the top plate, and we would expect you to continue to use Canon's top handle. And you get a base plate. You also get a pair of 15 millimeter stainless steel lightweight rods, and you get the bridge plate adapter BPA5 that goes in the bottom here. Now, the only difference between this set and the basic broadcast set is that the broadcast set comes with that broadcast shoulder adapter, which just slides in the bottom when you have everything lined up. Now, if you would like to purchase a pro set, then the same distinction between broadcast and cine versions applies, but you also get the three side brackets, you get the NATO rail clamp one and two, and you get the ARRI top handle and the viewfinder mounting mechanism that we showed earlier on. The C400 is already supported by a whole range of our ECS devices. For example, here I have a Hi5 SX, and I have full lens metadata, I have focus control thanks to this Seaforce Mini RF, and I can trigger the camera for recording from this cam to DTAP and LANC Y cable. Yes, funny setup at the moment, normally of course you would have a DTAP battery here to provide power to the system. If you wanted to have a similar thing with triggering from master grips, well then we also support and have tested the L-Cube in combination with the serial to LANC cable that will also support run stop from master grips. And that's about it for now. So thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or comments, please throw them down below and I'll get back to you. Looking forward to the next one. Thanks. Bye.